Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about the different operating systems that run on Cisco's different router and switch platforms. Now, you don't actually need to know this for the exam. The exam focuses purely on iOS, on Cisco routers and switches. So if you're wondering why am I including this then, the reason is that it's something that you would wonder about anyway and i want to explain to you that by taking this course and learning how to configure cisco ios it's going to enable you to work on any of the different cisco routers and switches because from a management and an administrative point of view it's pretty much identical no matter which actual operating system you're working on so I'll start off by giving you a bit of history. Many people think of Cisco as being a routing and switching company, but they actually were just a purely routing company when they started off. And when they did start off, iOS was the original operating system that they used on routers, the same operating system that's used today, although obviously it's gone through quite a few upgrades in the time since Cisco started back in 1984. So they were originally a routing company to offer switches that was through an acquisition. They bought Crescendo in 1993. And the Catalyst switch product line came about because of that acquisition. The original operating system on the Catalyst switches was CatOS, but that's been deprecated quite a long time ago now. Cisco Firewalls evolved from another acquisition that was the acquisition of network translation back in 1995 and Cisco got their PIX firewall from that which uses the finesse operating system. Now both the Catalyst switches and the originally the PIX firewalls, it's now the ASA firewall, were ported over to the iOS operating system over the following years. So Cisco standardized on iOS for all of their network infrastructure devices. There are some other operating systems on some of the newer router and switch platforms though. So iOS runs on the majority of Cisco routers and switches, but some of the newer platforms do have these new operating systems. Let's look at those now. So on the Cisco Nexus and the MDS data center switches, they run on NXOS. On the high-end service provider routers, the NCS and the CRS, and also on the ASR9K and the XR12K routers, they run on iOS XR. And on the ASR1K service provider routers, they run on iOS XE. So you're maybe thinking, oh, well, this is going to make things more difficult if there's all these different operating systems, but really it doesn't because all of the different Cisco operating systems, they are incredibly similar from the command line point of view. If you know a command in iOS, it's probably going to be exactly the same command on all of the different operating systems as well. As far as administering and managing them, they're all nearly exactly the same. So you're maybe wondering, well, if managing them is exactly the same, why is there the different operating systems? The main reason and where they're different is under the hood. iOS has got a monolithic kernel, meaning that if one process running on the router crashes, it can crash the entire router. 
the other newer operating systems have got microkernels and the processes run in separate protected memory address space. So if one of the processes crashes, it shouldn't affect the running on the rest of the system. So these other operating systems are mainly on the higher end routers and switches, but on the enterprise grade routers and switches, they're still running iOS. Now, don't think that iOS is a bad or an unreliable operating system. It's been purpose-built um, by Cisco, who are the biggest networking company in the world, to run on enterprise-grade routers and switches. So it is very hardened. It's still very, very reliable. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad-free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.